Hello students, I am Basraj, I am taking 6th English Grammar. I think in the last class you have learned sentence, kinds of sentence, word and parts of speech. You learned very well. So in this class I am going to teach you tense. Tense is very important. Tense is very very important in a language so see tense means what tense means what so tense means tense means sense of time tense means what a sense of time simply you understand simply you understand what a tense means sense of time how many tenses are there tell me how many tenses are there in English? Who know? Tell me how many tenses are there? Yes, three tenses are there. Three main tenses are there. So let's see. First one, present tense. Second one, past tense. Third one, future ends. These are three main tenses. These are main three tenses. Is it right? So, what is present tense? Present tense means which action want to do. Now, that is called a present time. That is a present tense. Past tense means that action is completed. That action is completed. That is called a past tense. So future tense. Future tense means the action will take in future time. The action will take future time. That is called future tense. Is it understand? Present tense, past tense and future tense. Each main tense has four sub tenses. Each main, each main tense has four sub tenses. Do you know? Subtenses. Let us see what are the subtenses in each main tense. First thing is present tense. It is a main tense. It is a main tense. Present tense. It has a four subtenses. Let us see what are those. Simple present. Then present continuous, then present perfect, four corner, present perfect continuous. The present tense has a main, sorry, sub, four tenses are there. Simple present, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. That is like past tense. What is second one? Past tense. Say, so, how the simple present, present continuous, that is like some small change here. See here, what is the changes here? Simple past past perfect sorry past continuous simple present after simple past after what past continuous after that past perfect then past perfect continuous tense so these are uh, sub tenses to the past tense. Okay. Simple present, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. All these are four sub tenses in present. So that's like in past, simple past, past continuous, past perfect, and past perfect continuous. So let us see next future.
future tense. Suppose one of simple future 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 continuous future perfect future perfect continuous tense is it understand simple future future continuous future perfect then future perfect continuous all these are sub tenses totally 12 sub tenses are there totally how many is a sub tenses are there 12 is it right Let's see how to make a tense table. How to make a tense table. Let's see tense table. Present, past and last one is future. Here sub tenses. Simple, continuous, perfect, perfect, continuous. So here in a simple present we should use V1. For example right. It is a V1. It is a V1. Here sometimes end with yes or yes. Yes or yes. It means singular uh, objects are end with yes or yes only in a simple present. So, how we want to write in a simple past? So, you should write the right change as a row B2. You should write here what a B2. B2. Then next, how do you write a future? Simple future shall I be right. Shall I will rise. Is it understand? It is a simple. So let us see continuous. Let us see continuous. So here am is R. So B1 is there now. Here change as order. Right change as a writing. Right change as a writing. In the past continuous was or made writing. Was or made writing. Here in the present continuous am is or two helping groups are there. How many helping groups are here? Am is or. Just like in past two helping verbs are there. What are those? Was and where. So let's see what are the helping verbs comes in a future continuous. Shall or will be writing. Change as what here? Shall or will be writing. Is it understand? Then perfect. Here are two helping verbs. Have or has. Have or has, we should write here V3. We should write what? V3. So, write V3 what? Write it is V1. Row 2 that is a V2. What is a V3 of write? S. Yes. Return. Write changes here what? Return. In any perfect tense you take, you should write V3. Is it right? There is like here, have. So, say no more changes. Add a return. So then, in future, in future perfect, let's see how to write. Shall or will have, shall or will have return. Shall or will have return. Is it understand? Then, in a Present perfect continuous. Let's see what are the changes are here. Have or has been. Write changes in writing. 
right change as a writing that's next here had been had been writing had been writing there how do you write tell me in a future perfect continuous how to write so shall or will have been shall or will have been right change as what there yes change as writing is it understand so simple present right it is a v1 so singular plural objects and with yes or yes for example e c it those are singular objects at the moment and with yes or yes so in the simple past right change as rule because we should write here v2 v2 means v2 means past present past and past participle is it understand so then simple future we use two helping verbs shall and will shall and will then we should write v1 there also there we should write v1 so that's like continuous present continuous two three helping verbs are there what are the three helping verbs are there am is or how many helping verbs are here am is or right change as here writing then past continuous here two helping verbs are there same was were was and were automatically that is also writing no more difference then shall be or will be change as here what shall be or will be writing that is a future continuous let us see perfect present perfect here how how or has we should write here v3 it means past participle we should write what past participle so write here change as a return so in the past the past perfect only one helping verb is there that is a had that is a had then in future perfect so shall be shall will have written so just a we had how then change here v3 then present perfect continuous here present perfect continuous see here how has then we had a been we should have what been then writing then here past had been writing change is here what is changed in here had been writing then future shall or will have been writing is it understand it's very simple it is very simple just you practice every day unless you can't learn okay what is simple present what is simple present write down the definition a tense which write down clearly a tense which a tense which tells about tells about tells about the work the work the work which does which does which does exist which does exist at and at and and it express it expresses it expresses only a wish only a wish it is called a present sorry simple present it is called what a simple present so here subject v1 object it is a formula simple present formula is here what a subject v1 object for example i catch i catch train i catch train the boy plays the boy plays 
is here catch and river catch is a river here also place it is not a river is it right one more example she sings well she sings well here also sings it is water sings it is water it is also river it is a subject it is river then last thing is called a object last thing is called what object is it understand it is a, a formal of simple present subject v1 object write down write down very fast i will tell you how to make negative and how to make a interrogative is it understand how to frame how to make negative and how to make a interrogative i will tell you first you write this line assertive or declarative the formula is the subject given if you necessary write it object otherwise simply subject and given you should write okay subject v1 and object for example you should this like you should write this like i we you he she it last is what they i we you he she it they so according to formula all these are subject all these are what subject then i drink i drink tea i drink tea so here the subject is i b1 is a drink then last one is object i drink tea then here also no more change here also you should write we drink tea here also drink but he she it these are singular third persons singular and third persons it is in this moment the verb end with yes or yes yes sir yes you should remember it you should keep this point in your mind in the simple present especially when we use singular objects at the moment verb end with yes sir yes it means drink change as what here drinks drink change as what drinks here also drinks here also drinks but here don't write drinks because it is a plural form so you should write only drink then as it is t no more changes is it understand subject v1 object singular objects uh, singular objects uh, end with s r e s the words are end with s r e s it is a assertive do you know how to make negative do you know how to make negative negative sentence subject here two helping verbs are there when you make a negative do or does then not afterwards v1 then object is it understand subject do or does then not v1 then object it is a negative formula in a simple present so let's see how to make a negative i drink tea how you make it negative yes i do not i do not drink a tea i do not drink a tea then we you he she it they write this line okay we do not then you do not here also no more changes but uh, he she it takes what uh, does he she take what sir uh, does does not here does don't use in any way only he she it only he she it uh, only use uh, does then here uh, do not what is your here drink as it is you should write here no more changes here in the verb 
he also object same. It is assertive, that is a negative. To help you work out there, when you make a negative, we should use do or does. For example, I go to school, how you make it negative? I go to school, how you make it negative? Can say anyone? Yes, I do not go to school. Don't say I not go to school. Don't tell, I not go to school. You should use the helping verb. What is the helping verb is there? Do or does. I go, just uh, you tell in negative, I do not go. Is it understand? So let's see how to make a interrogative. How to make a interrogative? Interrogative only I am telling you. Yes or no? Yes or no means what? In the beginning we use uh, helping O. Is it understand? So, interrogative. Interrogative. Beginning. Do or does. Then, subject. V1. Then, object. Then, question mark. It is a interrogative formula. So, that's why the do I drink tea? How you make it tell me? Do I drink tea? Then question mark. Here also we, you. Here also so. No more changes. I, we, you take water, do. Then but here does. He, she, it. He, she, it takes water, does. Does I drink? Does she drink? Does she drink? Does he drink? Does he drink tea? Okay. But uh, don't write here drinks. Here uh, don't uh, write uh, drinks. Here also you should write water. Drink because already here uh, yes, yes is there. So don't uh, add here yes or yes. Don't add uh, yes or yes to the word. You just only write it uh, drink. Okay, then do they next quarter do they drink? What is the object is there? T is it right? Put the question mark. It is a assertive, that is a negative, that is a last one is what? Interrogative. Is it understand? So I drink tea, here changes, I do not drink tea. In a interrogative, do I drink tea? Do I drink tea? Is it understand? We drink tea, we do not drink tea, then do we drink tea? Do you drink tea? Is it understand? You should practice every day. It's very easy. Okay. I hope you have understood. So, how to make an assertive, how to make negative and how to make an interrogative in a simple present. In the next class, uh, I will tell you present continuous. Present continuous, what are the helping words are there, how to make a negative and how to make an interrogative in the next class, I will tell you. Okay. Let's take down the Gomer. I speak English. I sing a song. I sing a song. So you should make a what? A? Assertive. Already it is assertive. You make it one in negative and a interrogative. You make it in negative and a interrogative. I, we, you, he, she, it, they. The, what we have practic practiced? It's like you should change. Is it understand? I speak English, then I sing song. Okay. See you in the next class.